we are about to do welcome by the way <laughs> anyway um a legitimate unboxing video well nothing i do is that legitimate nonetheless ups just rolled up dropped off a box and is a brown Adman black box. I really don't know what's in it. I have an idea, I really don't know what's in it. Took the brown box, opened it, and inside of that box, it's like a Russian doll thing. This was in there. So, let's see what it is. So I'm serious when I say that I have an idea what this is, but I don't really know. I honestly don't know. I, I know they were developing something. I knew that I was gonna get one when it first came out. I've heard rumblings of it, but I haven't seen one in person. And, you know, here it is. And I think it goes with that King Tour Pack. So that's a Vivid Black King Tour Pack, but you'll see what I'm gonna do with that here pretty shortly. But I think it's for that, so let's see. I believe, let's see. This is their, oh great, it's all stuck and Jesus, that's what happens when you don't plan. There you go. Get out of my face. Stop it. You're making me angry. It is. <laughs> so this is their, can't see me for the light, their light bar. I swear to God, I didn't know what it was, and I, but I'd heard about it. Oh, look at that. So in the box you have all the extensions. So if you're putting this on, say, a Street Glide or Road Glide that doesn't have a tour pack, the light extension here that'll go from the tour pack into the bike so there's that and you have a sticker and you have oh my god more than one sticker they're getting all givey with the stickers now look at this we got more than one sticker um more than one sticker i wouldn't pay attention to where the camera was now let's look at the light Ooh, what's this probably a template right because we got to uh cut the bag what the hell this is really in there. There we go. Yeah, okay. So you got a template. With, oh, that's brilliant. So you got a, a heavy plastic with 3M tape template on there because we're going to have to drill and cut the tour pack, right, to fit the plugs. Okay. If you don't, I'm sure it probably goes on a stock tour pack, but if you don't have a light, you're going to have to make some openings for you to have a light. So we'll do that dremel tool or something hardware hardware let me get all this stuff out of the way because the concept picture i saw another sticker jesus the concept oh, packaging kit that i saw is what sam there we go all right so you can't tell as much from right now looking at it uh maybe you can see the the roping in there what I saw, it really looks like a certain American muscle car taillight. I don't know if it's okay for it to look like that or not, so I'm just gonna say it that way. But that's what I saw a picture of a long time ago that was that was being toyed with, and I guess obviously it worked because here it is in my hands. Let's go out and take out the sun. Maybe you can see a bit more. Yeah, you can see it's kind of certain American four-door muscle car looking. I think it's a good idea. So let's see, we got the lighting, we got this, we got the template. This might be a two-part video. I may have to do this tomorrow because I don't think I have time today to go cutting on a bag. I mean, on a tour pack. So let me cut here. Tomorrow it'll be the next day and miraculously I'll still be wearing a black t-shirt because it's what I live in. So uh, we'll be back. Welcome back to the same day. Trust me. Um, so I just got everything moved around in the garage where, you know, the Mrs. Bike's out of the way and the golf cart's out of the way and I got the Ultra up on the lift and swung around where I want it and all that stuff. And I'm gonna put that light on the tour pack that's gonna be gifted to someone we all love very much. Um, not the old man, he has one. But, um, so I figured, this is what made sense to me, was I pulled my chop tour pack off and put this tour pack, which is again a Black King. That man Black sent this to me for a specific purpose. Uh, it's a King pack um, with, the, with a King pad and everything for uh, someone who doesn't have one and needs one. So um, that's on my bike right now, simply because it's gonna hold it nicely. That, that's my theory is that it's a safe place to have it. 
is on my bike holding it still and the bike sitting up and level because I do have to cut on the bag a bit to make the light you know go through and I've already tested the template I don't have enough hands or someone to hold a camera for me templates badass like when I first saw it I was like well how's this template gonna work well I'll show you real quick um, before I put it on the bike either end has the perfect notching this is for the, the the hinge on the other side and this one matches up to the handle on this side so i mean i'm it's a it's a really great template actually so i'm going to uh peel off the you know the 3m strips that are on it already line that up and put it on the bike and then we'll get to uh cutting sweating like a pig good lord it's hot out here anyway um so i put the template on so you can see nice 3m strips along there and it's actually really forgiving so i had thought i had it lined up perfectly and then I screwed it up and was able to peel it back and reset. I mean, so it's really a forgiving template. You see, it just has strips every couple inches that go around it. And it's not laid down just right. That's me, not it. Um, and then you go around here and you see the cutout for the hinge is perfect. So I'm just going to drill here, 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 there, there, you know, and then on the other side here, which are just the screws that screw into the light. And then I'm going to dremel out this square. Uh, and then that'll be, that's it. So, I mean, it's not... It's not that hard. So you can add this light to any King Tour Pack you already got. I can't wait to see it lit up because I saw a picture a long time ago and it looks like a certain American four-door muscle car. It's really a cool looking light. So, um, and it answered a lot of questions getting it. Like, how do you know where to cut? Well, the template's in there. Does it have the wiring? Yep, the extension and everything it needs in there. Uh, I don't even know what the price of this is yet. I don't know if it's on the site yet. I'm gonna find out some other stuff before I put this video up, but let's get to cutting and drilling. So. I've used the template, everything went fine. Uh, what size drill bit did I use? Oh crap. <laughs> I thought I'd tell you guys. I used a 3 16 drill bit on all the holes to uh, for the screws. The screws are just gonna go in from the backside into the light, so it's not like it's rocket science. Um, but 3 16 holes where the, where the template told me to put them. And then I actually just drilled, drilled some holes around the square that you need for the plug. Yes, that looks kind of rough, but that's because it's going to be covered anyway. Uh, just some holes around it, and then I use a Dremel, uh, the, the cutter bit, and just went and that's why it's a little messy. Again, you won't see it, so it doesn't matter, but um, know that when I put that cutter bit on my Dremel and hit it, I thought it was going to give me more resistance than it did, and it just went right through it like, you know, hot knife through butter. So that's the reason why it's a little, a little messy, and then filed it back a little bit. But again, no one's gonna see that opening, so it's not like a big deal, but if you do yours, just know that if you use a Dremel, go slow, because it's gonna go through it easier than you're gonna expect it to. But holes are there, square is cut for the plug. So let's just stick it on, you know? I, I should have done that real time. I just don't have an assistant or a place to put the camera. So when I put this on, I should have done it real time because it's hard to believe, but the holes were perfect. <laughs> Cause I did them, you know, you guys would be fine. Me, I'm like, one's gonna be this. Anyway, so it's not. So the light is on, as you can see, pow, 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 pow. They went right in, right straight, no problems. And you can see the light is cool as hell. Already closed the lid. You can see that, whoa, I'm falling over things. All right, so lid closes perfectly, lines up. Look at how cool that light is. I wish this were mine <laughs> to put on my factory tour pack, but um, there's no smoked one yet. It will be very, very soon, but this is the red and my lights are all smoked. So this is gonna go to a dear friend. Um, but look at how freaking cool looking that is. Now, all we gotta do is plug in uh, one end of that harness to the light and the other end to the, the rear end light uh, connection under the seat. That's gonna be just a few seconds, but if you got some guts and you're willing to drill holes in your tour pack, or if you got a Harley one, it doesn't matter because that's going to go right on a Harley King tour pack, no problem. Holes are already there. Da, da, da. That's, that's you know, we'll do that in the future, hopefully, for mine, but nothing to that. But if you've got, you know, an Advan Black tour pack, um, because Advan Black follows sort of the factory shape, so you're not going to have a problem. If you have someone else's, I, I don't know. I'm being serious. I don't know if the shape's going to be different, but if you have an Advan Black tour pack or a stock tour pack, pow i wonder if you could put this on a chop i don't know you know that's above my pay grade but i wonder maybe this would fit on a chop tour pack too but looks nice you know it's finished nicely i like the shape 
let's plug her up because the light the picture i saw the light on that's where this thing gets really cool i forgot a step <laughs> so where's the wire gonna go <laughs> we gotta cut a hole so she needs to have a hole in the tour pack you know wherever you want it that's why there's no template for that because you just gotta put a hole where you want it to be uh stock is like here is that as a matter of fact there's even a marker right there there's a there's a spot right there that i'm just about positive is the factory spot so you could put it right there where the factory one is i'm thinking because it doesn't have you know the the lower skirt and everything on the pat back pad maybe a little further in so the wire is not so like out here so right about there you know line basically line it up with this channel where the wire is going to sit so i think i'm going to put the hole sorry the camera i'm not putting it where it is i think i put the hole right about there also i looked at the harness if you're curious i would imagine yeah looking at it if you have an existing king factory tour pack and you just want a light that's not stupid looking and you want this one instead you're just gonna swap out the light it's not not a big deal um if you are starting from scratch one thing i'm really surprised at is this the wiring harness that it comes with you see all the plugs is an all-in sort of way i mean this has got obviously the wire i need just to go brake light tail light run light but it's got if you have the lower arm lights you know these here if you got those plugs are there um i think that's the antenna maybe it's got that i mean like it's it's all in it's got it all so just know that when you get this thing if you're swapping out a, a factory light bar on your on your harley king tour pack and already has one of those lights on it it's going to be nothing like you're just going to couple screws and a plug but if you're going starting from scratch you are going to have everything you need as much as you want to go there's going to be a lot of plugs sitting loose in here so the next thing would probably be a liner you know or something like that to cover up the wire because right now the wire is just going to sit in the bottom of the, of the king of the uh, tour pack but if you got a liner or something pow you know drop it right in there as a matter of fact i have my stock liner because my king pack has an Edman black stitched liner in it that'll be a test we'll do that in a second because i've got this guy which is the stock harley liner i'll just drop that sucker in there so it'll look good for the person who's yet to be named unless i named him earlier in the video and i'm not i don't know what the hell so let me cut that hole we'll run the wire through and we'll uh, we'll plug this up note to self factory harley king tour pack liner fits in an Edman black tour pack perfectly i mean it's ugly in the stitched one that they make would be better looking but for now that'll work and, and then he can get a stitch tour pack if he wants to a liner like i've got in mine we can switch it out or something if you want to but for a drop in for now so there's not just like cabling you know this is good so if you decide to do this that's one thing i would recommend is go ahead and order the liner when you order the tour pack uh for mad man black and do black or orange or red or blue or a bunch of colors um so order the liners because the cable's just going to lay in there otherwise um the light looks freaking fantastic <laughs> on and off uh, I made the hole in the front, bam. Um, I used an inch and a quarter hole saw, and it was not too big, but if it were, if I were doing it over again, I'd use a one inch. So it's not, it's fine. What I got here is fine. The grommets in there are nice, but uh, again, I would use a one inch hole saw, you know, to make the hole. Also, I thought I started with like a, a three quarter inch uh, drill bit, uh, which ended up not being big enough. So that made using the hole saw hard. So learn from my mistakes don't do a pilot hole with a big old bit and then go at it with a hole saw just get a one inch hole saw and start straight with that and that'll make the perfect opening for the grommet and the cable and everything so uh it's all run as you can see i mean i haven't tucked anything away but you know the wires i got plenty of slack and stuff so the wires up under the seat also this is a temporary solution because what's going to happen is i'm going to see this buddy on saturday i'm going to be on my bike so i'm just going to put his tour pack on go see him and then uh, uh, be like, hey, surprise, this is yours. And we're going to pull it off my bike and put it on his. So um, <laughs> he'll probably go, why is your lights not match? Because that's, again, one of the reasons why I don't have one of these yet is the smoked one's not yet out. It's, it's coming out soon, but it's not out yet. This is red and my lights are all smoked. So let's see with the lights on. Um, it, it did plug right up, you know. Get on there. What am I doing here? Oh, I've closed something they don't have, haven't I? idiot yep <laughs> not very smart all right so we'll turn the bike on and there you go 
See how it looks a lot like the rear end of a uh, American muscle car that shall not be named? That is freaking cool. Like that, that's a huge upgrade from the stock. I'll show you what the stock King Pack like pipe well, look, King Pack King Pack light looks like. It's just a bunch of little LEDs. So here's a uh, this is a smoked version of it, but it's the same as the stock. And look, you just got a series of little LEDs, just a bunch of red dots. This actually makes it you know a tubular kind of light, and looks again like a lot more modern. So there is the uh, the light just in running light. And then I'll turn my hazards on and we can look at, you know, where the uh, run, I'm sorry, the uh, stop and turn is. So, so the stop and turn, as you see, is those bars in the middle. Really freaking cool. The bars go all the way out, the tubes go all the way out and around the edge, you see there? So it's, it's awesome. Well, there's a little Ed Man Black logo right there. How cool is that? So, um, I like this thing a lot. I can't wait for them to come out with the uh, smoked one for my tour pack. Let me stop now and look it up if I can find it on the website because I'm not a thousand percent sure this is on the site yet. So we might be sneak peeking here, which sounds really inappropriate. I just successfully scared the crap out of the boss at Ad Mad Black. That was fun. I was like, hey, how much is this light I'm putting in this video? He goes, don't put the video out. It's not out yet. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, so. This is a sneak peek and that I have this light. So I'm not going to put the video out until it's time. So whenever you see this, the light has been launched and is on their site. So I don't have the price yet, but before I cut this video and put it up, I'll have that. But uh, one thing I did just notice, because, you know, full disclosure and all, uh, I took off my stock or not took off. I grabbed my stock uh, tour pack light. Here's the ugly red one that just has a bunch of series of little LED lights. This came off my 21, so this is the current one. Uh, you are, if you do this, going to have to do an antenna relocate. And like a little light went up and I was like, wait a minute, and I, I grabbed it real quick. So you see the antenna mount is integrated into the taillight. So if you just do this as a swap on your stock tour pack, which I would still do, um, you're going to need to relocate your antenna because the, uh, the it's not going to have that, that nub anymore which is why all the wiring's in there. A uh, million different things you can do. What I did on mine is I ran the antenna up into the frame. Ow! Okay. Um, <laughs> I ran my long antenna inside the frame rail here uh, by, the, by the, the fender inside. Oh, it was dirty in there. Fender inside, so it's it's in zip tied and along. So it's got the full size antenna just run inside the bike. So you can do that by unhooking up here because there's actually an antenna plug here, and what plugs in here is an extension that goes all the way back there. So you can just unplug it there, plug in your antenna there, and then woo, -woo you know, run it along there and zip tied along. That's that's what I would do. It just hides it all, and you still get full strength radio that way instead of these other ones that go in the fairing, which I hear some people say they're great. Most people say they suck. So. One thing you need to do. If you have a CB, God damn, whatever I stepped on still hurts. Um, that's what the other little nub is. The stock tail light has the uh, stereo antenna on this side. And then over here, if you have a stock bike and ultra, there's just a little blank here. Then you're fine if you have the blank. But if you have added the stereo CB antenna, I'm sorry, and you're running dual masts, like you're a trucker in the 1970s, um, <laughs> you need to figure that out also. So this does not have antenna mounts. And I'll tell you what, that's awesome. Because looking at mine, when I did this swap to the smoked light, this is the cheesy Amazon takes forever to get and it's just okay. It's basically just like a stock light, stock light with a smoked lens over it. Um, and it's still expensive. Uh, you see it still has the nub for the antenna and this cannot be removed easily. It's not like that's threaded and you can just take it out. So. Uh, I like the fact that this new light that's been completely removed. So you just get that sort of shaved look. Everyone loves a nice shaved look. Anyway, um, so that's done. This is all buttoned up, wired up, installed, drilled, cut, blah, 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 blah. Um, now I just need to find out how much it is and when it'll be available. When it's available, when you see this video. So and I'll put the link in the description down below when it's on their site. But uh, next thing I'll do, I'll cut in with price and how to buy it. but. If it's anything like the other stuff I've gotten from them lately, it's a hell of a great deal. So let's see. So I just realized something today. After all that work, installing the taillight and all that, 
what ended up happening was I presented, what happened was I presented, presented, no, I ended up giving that tour pack with the folks at Adam Black's Blessing to my brother Olaf, who is a super senior person and the organization shall not be named. And the reason why that's so awesome is you end up needing a sort of touring bike to do what we do. It involves the kids that we serve, climbing on the bikes, sitting on the bikes, getting a little ride sometimes, this, that, and the other. There's also tons of just gear you're carrying, right? If, if you ride as much as we do during normal circumstances and, and you're serving kids and like Olaf does who has responsibilities all over the state and he's just got tons of crap with him all the time to do the, to do the work, um, a tour pack is a huge luxury that a regular rogue glide doesn't come with and it's a big expense and it's that and the other and he actually needed it it wasn't a dress up item it was an accessory something the dude needs and the advent black folks were like we want you to do an install video on the light here's a tour pack what color is all off bike <laughs> and that's what it was so i recorded going brother here you go this is yours and it was tremendous fun and then it's gone I don't know where the hell that video is, but it sucks because it was it was a great moment to put it on a spike and then go here. So now you got room for all the crap that we need to do what it is that we do. So um, for that, I apologize. I I I don't have assistance. But uh, so anyway, that light. Uh, I'll put the link down below. That light is called the Reaper, and it retails for three three ninety nine. Um, as you saw in the video, it's not hard to put in. Don't be afraid of the cutting and the whatnot. It's not, it's not a big deal. Uh, 3 dollars for the light. It comes in red or smoked. I can't wait to see a smoked one because, like I showed earlier in this video, that this is now many days later. Um, I want to put a Reaper on that, that uh, tour pack there because it'll just look cooler. So, plan to do that sometime soon, hopefully. We'll see. But, that's it. So, 3 dollars go grab your light best one on the market in my opinion that's the, that I've seen that's not I mean Harley's got a new one but it doesn't look that cool to me and it's expensive and that and that so but yeah go check one of those out thanks again to Advent Black for throwing a brother a bone with a tour pack and a light because that's going to be used a lot for the kiddos that we serve and uh take care of each other out there we'll talk real soon bye